Hi friends golfers, Eric Solberg, EJS Golf Academy. I want to talk to you a little bit about chipping here. So I teach a lot of chipping. I do a lot of short game stuff. And I actually do some clinics for uh, some women's leagues that the uh, women's league run with my wife, Scottsdale Golf League for Women. Um, and inevitably when doing those, there's one big issue always that I notice from the very beginning. It's this, is we don't brush the grass. And so they'll go through like, oh, I hit it too hard, but they never touch the grass. So I can't emphasize this enough. I know some of you guys that watch me are probably way beyond this, but, but believe this. I will still make a mistake sometimes and get up here and not brush the grass, okay? Just not thinking or I haven't played in a while or whatever. So it's not a bad thought to think. And, and one of the thoughts I have too is that when I'm taking it, practice strokes like this, is I am trying to brush and I'm seeing where I'm coming down. So if you don't take practice strokes when you're chipping, shame on you, you probably shouldn't. Now, <laughs> Somebody's probably laughing at me because you're an incredible chipper and <laughs> you don't do it. So, hey, there's always the anomaly and you, you're the one, okay? So, I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of a routine that I go through today and talk you through mentally how I think about this. And this kind of came up when I thought, I was talking to my wife last night about it because I did uh, a, a little clinic yesterday. And she's like, you know, Eric, we, we've worked on chipping. And she goes, you know, I can do it. I, I do really good. And then I get out there and something happens where, you know, maybe I'm five of eight are really good. Then the other three are just awful. And then, you know, I asked her, I go, well, what, what is so bad about it? Well, it goes, you know, I fly over the green, skid it. So I go, you don't, you, you're not hitting the grass then, right? And she goes, yeah. I go, well, are you thinking about it? She said, yes, she is. And that's what really got me thinking. So she is trying to do it. She does other practice strokes and it doesn't happen. So then I got to thinking, I'm going, okay. So to me, we have a hit impulse at that point, right? It, it means... You're, you're taking your practice swings and you're just real smoothly going like that. You're brushing the grass nicely. You do it fine. And then you get up to go and there's probably something different where it's like you're hitting, okay, instead of swinging. And golf needs to be swinging, not hitting. And oh, so bad do we go when we hit, which is usually the problem, okay? So I had a little talk with her about how do we change the thought process? What do we do? And so one thing I've always done for me personally is I have a little saying called thump and turn. What is the thump? I thump the grass and turn, okay? I have to remember to turn because if I don't, what, what it's one of my errors I'll make is I won't turn. So I thump and I don't turn. So thump and turn. If I do that, I, I'll never miss it, okay? Because I told myself to hit the grass, but what am I doing? I'm telling myself something out there, turn. I'm feeling more finished. So we talked about for her feeling something more out in front, okay? So we're going to work more with her instead of, on these practice strokes that she takes, you know, it does, she's, she's going to think more of what is happening out here. Okay. Way more in front of her instead of just right here. Cause she, I think she could just do this with her eyes closed right now. So instead we're going to have a thought, the process that's more out front. And I'm going to think that more just like that. Oh, go in. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of times that I, I in this game that you know you'll think it's a technique issue and yes it is a technique issue if we're not getting the ground or we're stopping sure it is but here's the thing if you understand what you're doing if you understand what's wrong you understand what's right and you understand good technique a lot of times this brain can fix it pretty easy by telling it what to do correct okay very easily our bodies are so good at self-organizing we just don't let it and you know what i hear 95 to percent of the time golfers tell me they tell themselves the wrong thing okay so they're just killing themselves you know like i was working with somebody in the bunker the other day um she was told by her husband to squat down right get her feet way open club face way uh way open so everything's way open swing very short back and come down as fast as she could she couldn't get out of bunker ever couldn't get any air couldn't get any, anywhere out of bunker so there, it, oh, and she had to keep her head down. She couldn't move either, okay? So you think about that. She's telling her those things. She's dead, right? So, but what if she had the right thought process, process in there? She's athletic, and guess what happened an hour later? She's just jubilant because she understood the proper way to do it. So here's the problem. If we're always analyzing things without knowing what's correct, or we're listening to somebody we think who knows it, we have to we have to have good information, right? And and golf is one of those weird sports that's so stricken with bad information. Um, and also, here's the other thing: it's like 
forever this is happening in golf. It's like if somebody's a good player, right? Let's say they're scratched. They're a good player, okay? I'm going to go get advice from him. He's going to help me. What is he going to tell you or she? They're going to tell you what works for them, okay? A good coach is not doing that at all. They're not telling you what I'm, they're working on. That, 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 that scratch player is saying this is what I do. Just like this is what was wrong back before we had a lot of information as, as golf coaches was we were listening to tour pros. Jack Nicholas would say I'm doing this or Ben Hogan would say he's doing that. But then we started looking at these video when we got better stuff and going, man, he is not doing that at all. <laughs> but that's what he feels, right? Okay, so that's, you know, good information is what we need. Now, are there good places to get good information? You, you gotta find it, right? You gotta find a good source, somebody who is a, a student of the game, okay? Not somebody who's a student, uh, a good scratch player on their own, or, or who you think is a good player because you're 20 and they're uh, 12, okay? They're not helping you, okay? You need you need to get on your own program so you can get better. Like, my, my theory about golf has always been this. If you're athletic at all and have a little bit of time to work on this, and my programs are 15 minutes a day, there's no reason you shouldn't be going towards scratch. Like these 90s, 80s, it's all a problem with understanding what you're doing. Like. I'll get a new person come to me and I and I ask them because I want to know what they're, I, I, I really try to get into their thoughts because I need to know what they're thinking and what I need to change their thought process. Because if they're thinking something, that's what their body's trying to do. So one of the questions I always ask is I'm like, okay, so show me what you're trying to do, get at, at impact. Like what does impact look like? And they'll go, well, what do you mean? Like, impact, what, what, and they'll just stand like this. I'm like, so how can you, how do you get into a correct impact if you don't even know what it is? Right? How do you know, how, how am I supposed to get like this if I don't even know that's what it is? If I just stand here and go, I don't know, I'm just swinging, then you're not, you're never going to get there. So that we just need good information and we need to give ourselves a chance and then we have to have a way to practice it and learn it, okay? And then golf really isn't as complicated as people think, but it's very complicated when you have the alternative, which most people are doing. And that's why handicaps haven't changed for so many years and why golfers aren't getting better, but it shouldn't be that way. And I wish it wasn't. Um, you know, I got in, I got into this game as a, as a coach, um, because I wanted to change things and I hope I do, um, larger than just the people that I see. So I'm going to think that same thing I told my wife. Okay. And I caught that a little bit heavy, but I'm still putting. Remember what's the key? We're on the green. I got to putt at it. And you know, right here, I would have probably hit number club anyways, 58, but folks, get some good coaching, ask good questions, get some videotape, have a good coach look at it and find out what's going on, get some 3D. I always look at it in 3D, 2D lies if you're in the wrong angles. So put in a little time to it just like you would anything to get better. Think about how would you get better piano? You wouldn't go see your piano teacher one time and then wait till you can't figure something out again. No, you would get out of program, right? Same thing, just to figure it out so you get better. You don't have to do it forever. Once you understand how to move and whatever like that, then I want my students to be their own coaches. The worst thing I could ever hear a student of mine say is this, is ask them what went wrong. And they go, I don't know. Something went really wrong then. They should know what went wrong always. Okay, now that doesn't happen after one lesson, but they get there. And that is so freeing because I tell you this, you go shoot a bad round and you don't play well, but you know what went wrong. That is hope because you know how to fix it, right? It's like, oh, I know I just got to work on this when I get home. Most people are going, oh, YouTube, I did this. What do I do? Let's go find this. Oh, let me try this and see if this works today. Get rid of that stuff. That's hogwash. Eric Solberg, EJS Golf Academy.